How's it going? How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. As you can see, I'm back. I'm in the room. It's not too hot up here yet, but it's getting there. So we're going to bust through this video real quick. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get up here. Come here. Lift your head up, yeah. See, thank you. So they can see you. There. Turn this down just a little bit. You gotta put your head up. Up. They can't see you. Alright, that's it. You're not cooperating. Go lay down. We'll go downstairs in a little bit. I was trying to get her to, to, to look at the camera, but now she don't do it. Camera shy, I guess. Or she just doesn't understand what the camera is. But that was Kiwi. A little pain in the butt once in a while. Like when she tore up my pillow the other day. Come in the bedroom. And there's stuffing everywhere. I even put... She had, she had tore, tore at it once before and pulled some of the stuffing out. I took it out of the pillowcase. Turned it around and put it back in the pillowcase. So that the, the end that she had tore up was... You know, at the sealed end of the case. Yeah, didn't matter. I came in, she had pulled it out, stuffing everywhere, so I just cleaned it all up and threw it away. I had like five pillows on the bed, so. Yeah. I only used three of them. One as kind of like a prop underneath the other two. The one's a little bit more stiffer pillow. I used that on the bottom and then the two soft ones on the top so I can kind of, um, arched up just enough to where it doesn't hurt my neck to try to sit and, and watch TV when I'm, before I go to sleep. But anyway. Alright. Let's dive into this pack of Don Russ basketball. I'm not exactly sure what year it is. Because they got, they put the, the sticker like right over the top where it would actually tell you. I know that it's not 2000, or it might be 2023. Let's see if I can pull this off without tearing it up. It's not matter. I'm going to throw the pack away anyhow, but I don't want to rip off what I'm trying to read. Yeah. Don Rush, Gaskin. 2022-2023. So, not the newest ones to come out, but close. So, I don't know what, what which ones are, is it, is it 23 to 24 that have the Victor Wembenayu, or what, what, however the hell you pronounce the name. Wemby, as most people just say it, because most people can't pronounce it like me. Or is, or is it it's 22-23 uh, that have him? I don't know. I don't follow enough basketball to uh, to know. But here we go. Let's dive in. I'll have to keep an eye out. And for rookies, I'll put the rookies back and hold on to them for a little bit. We got Tyrese Maxey. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what who are your favorite favorite players currently playing. Or you know, comment who are your favorite players that are maybe retired. Uh, just just leave a comment. We got Nikolai Vukovic. Vukovic. We've got uh, Nikolai Jokic. Tyrese Halliburton. Is that guy green hair? Yeah, I think he's got green hair. Marcus Smart. I wonder if he did, if that's just like his natural look. He just likes having his hair colored like that. Or whether he did that because he's playing for the Celtics. Hmm. Choiring lines, one or not. PJ Washington Jr. Armani Brooks. T.J. McConnell. I've heard of him. I have heard of a few of them. 
I just don't watch much basketball. Joe Harris. You know, especially because it seems to me, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I just not turning it on at the right time, but it seems to me like I can remember back in the day, growing up, if you want to watch sports, you could turn on any any little, at least one of the local channels, like the channels you could pick up with an antenna. Every night, at least one of them would have a sports on. It might it wouldn't always be the same channel every night, but you know, one night, you know, one or two nights a week, NBC would have during prime time they would have, you know, a basketball game or a football game or you know whatever. You know, whether it's college or pro, you know, racing, tennis, you know, they would have some sport. Um, or isn't it ABC that actually had like the wide world of sports? One of those channels. You know, CBS would have another night, stuff. But any night of the week, you could, you could turn on and watch sports because that's what my dad would normally do. And then, you know, a couple nights a week, he would go, or he would go in, in one room and watch sports, and my mom would sit in the other room and watch her primetime shows. Um, but yeah, it seems like anymore, though, if you want to watch sports and, and really like every day, you got to buy like a subscription package. I'm not going to do that. LaMelo Ball, Scotty Barnes. All right, now these are flipped over the other direction. Okay, so here we got we got one of the uh, like Sunburst or whatever they call them. We got DeAnthony Melton. Is there a rookie? No. Nope. Next we have insert complete player LeBron James. Hmm. Well, he's a good player. I'm not knocking him. He's a good player, but I don't know. Cade Cunningham franchise features. We got Rudy. Gay. I guess I should hold up a little bit higher so I'm not cut off half the card at the bottom. Let me flip these over. It's easier just to hold them straight up like this. All right, rookies. I'll be I'll be going through the rookies real quick because they're at the back. We got Patrick Baldwin Jr. Jaden Ivy. Ochai Agbahi. I probably completely butchered his name, so I apologize if he happens to watch this video. Not likely, but you know, you never know. Alright, and then the rest of these I think should be just like regular base cards again. Alperine Sen Sengun? Sengun? I don't know. The Aaron Fox? Lonnie Walker, the fourth, right? IV, that's fourth. Marcus Morris, Sr. Norman Powell. Devontae Graham. Josh Giddy. I guess that's not really focusing very well with my ugly mug in the picture too, is it? Spencer Dinwiddie? That's a different name. That's a pretty good, pretty good shot. I guess he's probably going up for a dunk. Danilo Gallinari? Two cards left. We've got Anthony Davis. I have heard of him. I do know a, a handful of players from the Lakers just because if I do watch, that's normally who I try to watch is the Lakers. And we have Jacob Pool. Pool? I 
have no idea how to pronounce that name. But yeah, okay. All right. So, did I get my five dollars back with this? I mean, overall, yeah, probably because I mean, even the base, even the base cards. If somebody was looking to buy them, you could probably get, you know, ten or fifteen cents a piece for them. Uh, some of the players maybe up to a quarter, uh, maybe even a little bit more. I, I don't know. Uh, probably depends on the player, uh, you know, how their stats are doing, stuff like that. The rookie cards, I'd imagine these rookies, especially if I look them up and they're they're putting up some decent stats, the rookie cards would probably go for a dollar or two a piece, maybe. The LeBron James insert, maybe the same. Maybe a buck or two. Um, if people are, are still buying his stuff a lot. And then the, uh, the Sunburst. Uh, maybe, again, depending on that player, if he, if he's a sought-after player, then it, it might be uh, you know a few bucks. If he's not, then yeah, may, maybe a dollar or two at the most. But regardless, I only paid five dollars for the pack, so I think... I think I did all right. Uh, you can't really go wrong with buying these, you know, thirty card packs and you can get them for five bucks. So, if you're looking for a cheap, cheap way to, to break, uh, just some cards. If you, you're like me, you just enjoy opening up, seeing them, um, familiar side, familiarizing yourself. That's what I was trying to say uh, with players, because like I said, I don't watch a lot of sports, but, you know, I do learn names and stuff, uh, through doing this, so when I hear, and it's something, you know, when I hear something in the news, all of this players, you know, you know, did this, or broke this record, or whatever, then I, you know, I recognize the name, and I say, hey, you know, I recognize them from the cards, um, which is always a good thing, because, you know, if somebody's out there breaking records, then even their base cards can, uh, get some value, um, especially if they if they are one of those people say like a Larry Bird or you know we're going I'm reaching way back now because you know a lot of these players today have a long way to go to get that type of legacy behind them but it's entirely possible they could um, you know again like Le LeBron James I mean he's already got a legacy but he's still um, on a short run of it when you look at players like Michael Jordan and Larry Bird and, you know, Magic Johnson, uh, Wilt Chamberlain, you know, you know, some of those older, older players that played back in the day, um, you know, that they built up enough in the game to where any of their cards hold value. And I would imagine LeBron James will be one of those. Um, but as far as like players today, um, I don't know. But that's the thing. You know, any one of these players, if they go on to have, you know, you know, 15 or 20 years uh, playing a game, and they consistently are just balling, then even those base cards. You know, especially if they're well centered, well preserved, and they might grade high, uh, you know, you can have value. But even if they don't, it's still fun just to open them up. And like I said, all these all these base cards, I just hold on to. And when I get like sports, you know, when people buy like sports oriented stuff from me, Macari, eBay, whatnot, Poshmark, find it all down below. Then these are perfect little throw-ins. I can go through, sleeve a couple up, throw a couple, you know, throw them in top loaders. And, you know, either pick some of the same team or if I can find some of the, like, a certain player. Um, maybe even if they played for a couple of different teams over the years, if I've got different cards of them on those different teams, you know, and, they're, and that person's buying, say, a Funko Pop or they're buying, you know, if they're buying a card off of me, you know, like a parallel or an auto or something of a certain player, and I have base cards or inserts of that player, then I'll throw a couple of them in just for the hell of it. So that's what I do with all these, these base cards. 
Uh, another thing you might have heard me talking about is I'm talking about trying to make just some, in particular, maybe like end tables. Um, I thought about doing like coasters, getting some cork board and some thin plexiglass, you know, some very clear, uh, non streaking adhesive, you know, cut out cork, um, good size for to put a card on, and then maybe frame it around the sides, or maybe put, put something on the top, um, just paper or, or something. Or just paint, paint the edge, uh, maybe like team colors, so that it's square coaster instead of like the the card dimensions, and then just you know put some adhesive and put a, uh, a thin plexiglass on top of it, and there you got yourself you know do you like four of them, make a little uh, set of coasters, uh, you know that's what you know base cards you can find all kinds of different things to do with the base cards. Or, uh, you know, another thing people have talked about you doing, although I don't know, I don't know how kids today would take to this. Um, but I can remember, you know, back when I was growing up, occasionally you you go and you would get a little bundle of two or three baseball cards. Normally they were baseball cards. When I was growing up, you know, the other sports weren't as prevalent. Uh, there weren't as many companies putting out like football or hockey and stuff like that. Um, you know, but when I was growing up, like basically tops is what it was. Um, and Leaf, I think Leaf was back then too. Uh, they're still around, obviously, but you know, those were kind of the two big ones back then, I think. But occasionally you'd get like a trick or treat. Instead of handing out candy, you know, somebody that had you know a ton of baseball cards, they would grab out called baseball cards, and that's what you get. You know, me being a boy. Um, again, back in the day, you know, there's certainly nothing wrong. I mean, I've seen some very athletic ladies uh, that can that can play uh, any sport, uh, and that's great. Uh, you know, have you ever watched that more? women's softball? Jesus, how in the hell do they throw the ball that fast? Could you imagine getting hit in the side of the head with one of those? God, it'd probably kill you. Anyway, I don't remember the point I was going to make, but yeah, but you know, that, well, growing up, you know, a lot of kids didn't mind that, but today, I don't know whether people would want to get, uh, you know, sports cards. Uh, you know, you know, honestly, probably the, the dads or the parents would probably be more excited about their kid bringing home baseball or football cards than the kids would be. But I'm sure there's some kids out there that do collect. So, uh. Anyway, that's it. See, I put a little bit of a rambling in at the end just to make up for because I didn't know at the beginning. It wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll probably pick up some more cards uh, here, here shortly. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. But stay tuned. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so when I do... You'll know it. As always, look out for yourself and everyone around you so we all have a much better chance of staying safe and healthy. I'm going to go down and grab a cold Mountain Dew. I'm not sponsored by Mountain Dew, but if they wanted to, they could certainly. Them and Body Armor. Either one of them could sponsor me and I would be happy. They wouldn't have to pay me anything. Just give me product. I would feature it predominantly in my videos. And, uh,. They wouldn't have to worry about it going to waste because I would definitely drink it. Uh, body armor. I like the strawberry. The strawberry banana is really. Or, uh, is it strawberry banana? Yeah. Pretty sure. Strawberry banana and uh, the orange mango body armor. I wish they made them in like, like real big things. You know, like Gatorade. They make like the real huge ones. I wish body armor made ones that big. Now I could just get one and just take like a little cooler with me to work and then I'd have that to drink the whole time. Just an idea. Anybody from Body Armor? Anybody knows anybody from Body Armor? Or, the, or whatever company makes Body Armor? Pass that on. Alright, that's it. Hey, see ya.